Good evening. So tonight we're going to be talking about the train ductless mini split remote. The instructions for these things are the absolute worst thing that I've ever read. They um, they're just they're terrible. So that's why I'm doing the video. And um, so we're going to talk about all the different functions which ones I think are a waste of time, which ones I typically like to set, and how to set one of these up. So let's go ahead and begin with, um, first of all, the orange button here is power. All right, right now it's off. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn it back on. That's the first step, it must have power. Okay, so, and on the wall over here we have a, uh, hold on a second. There it is, ductless mini split hanging on the wall. That's the indoor evaporator. Okay. All right. So, so we have power. Power's on. And let's see if you can see the remote and the display. There you go. All right. So this thing right here, that means auto changeover. What that means is that you have to give the unit a heating set point and a cooling set point. The cooling set point must always be higher than the heating set point. So let's say for winter mode you want 72 degrees, which is where we have this set. So what you have to do is you have to go to the mode button. Now watch. Notice this thing up here is going to change this icon. It's going to go to snowflake, which is cool. Right now my cool set point is 78. That's called dry. That's for 76. That's like a dehumidification mode. That is fan only. And that is heat. 72 degrees. That's my heating set point. So like in the heating mode, I have to actually be in that mode on the display. Then I use the up and down arrow to change it. So I'll change it to 71. Okay, now when I'm done with that, I've got my mode set point set where I want them. Now I go back to auto. Now that I'm in auto changeover, the unit will uh, monitor the space temperature at the remote because there's a button here that says, I feel. Yeah, whatever. I don't know who comes up with these names. I feel, whatever. So anyway, you gotta press I feel in order for the sensor in the remote control to be active. If not, there is a sensor in the um, air handler on the wall. That sensor will be the one that's default if you don't press I feel. Okay, so now we're there. The timer on, timer off, totally ignore that crap. You don't need it, don't use it. It will only confuse you and probably make your system be totally dysfunctional. So um, there's also a, an X fan button, which I like to set because what that does is you know, when the unit goes off, it allows the fan to run momentarily um, to dry the cooling coil off, to get the moisture off of it. So that's probably a good feature. The light, if you press the light button, that is for the display on the uh, air handler. And if you turn that off, the display goes away on the air handler and you think that you have a problem. Um, but you really don't. So let's turn that make sure that's on okay so the light is on there's the little uh, there's a the little light there it is on the bottom okay now the uh, sweep now I do like I do like to set the sweep buttons here sweep here and here this one's up and down side to side so there's actually a damper on the air handler that will um, sweep side to side and move up and down so what that does is it throws the air out into the room and, and basically covers the entire room. So we do like to set that. Okay, so right now I'm in auto mode and the unit has come on and it is in cooling mode because obviously it's a pretty warm day. And um, so there you have it. Um, the sleep button, don't mess with that. Whatever, just don't mess with it. It's not worth the headaches. Uh, there's so many different functions in here, and the instructions are so poorly written, you'll never figure out how to set this thing up. So, Oh, and just as a disclaimer, um, 
you know, this is only through observation what I'm telling you. I may not be correct in everything that I'm telling you. So if any of you YouTubers out here have more experience with these, um, want to leave a comment, please do. Please be kind, though. And um, anyway, so there you have it. So that is the train uh, ductless mini split remote control. And uh, so if you have any questions, contact your local train rep. Don't call me. And have a nice evening.